Pound Town much quicker than I expected. Oh, did you now? It was convenient we found a path leading right here. The worst part about this game is that three characters I really don't like are Arl, Amity, and Ringo. And they're together for the majority of the story. So that makes it extremely painful. <laughs> I told you I knew the way. So this is prep, and it is overrun with Petrominos. I don't like O very much either. Yeah, it seems like I hate on the majority of characters from this game, but I've got my reasons. I agree, O. This is definitely Wait. The how can you agree? He's literally just saying the words P P P. How can you agree with him? Yep. Can he like can T just like communicate with him somehow? What sights? There's just a fountain that has Poyo statues in it. But we really are overrun with tetraminos. There's four tetraminos there. And can't they, like, can't they just say it's a monument to Tetris or something like that? Well, then let's get to work, team. First up, Tetramino cleaning duty. But how do you clean them? And second, we figure out why this is happening. Not to go in reverse order, but I can tell you why. Yes, this is, like, one of the only other characters that is almost perfect. I love the Dark Prince. His only problem is that, like, he's always chasing after Arl and has, like, no time to be truly evil. Like, he should- he should do something, like, evil beyond chasing after Arl. He is so cool. No, thank you. Goo, goo, goo. Even Carbuncle's reacting the same way. Uh, uh, hey! I wasn't done with my introduction yet. Yes, you were! No, he wasn't, Arl. Be quiet and sit down. I knew we'd find you here. How did you know? I mean, he could have been anywhere. He's got wings. He could have been flying above you. Princely chuckle, that's cute. So you want to know why the Tetraminos are hitting Prim, huh? Well, listen up. Two very different dimensions seem to be merging into one. You know, the whole idea of the Poyo Tetris crossover is pretty creative, I'll give him that. And thus, it's transforming both worlds. And somehow, a few people have gone a little kooky from this. <laughs> the, way, the way his voice goes up and down is really cute. But So, you can cure a crazy person by playing Poyo and Tetris. You know, a lot of the communication errors in Catching Fire with Wireless could have been easily resolved if they just played Poyo with her. I love that the Dark Prince is such a dramatic villain. <laughs> you probably wanted to have some fun, is that it? You know, as annoying as Arl is, I'll give her credit for doing like a semi-self-aware joke. And I really like the the thing that like it's not actually the Dark Prince behind it all. I'm flattered all. No matter where I travel to, no matter what, you're always there to cause trouble. I I actually like how self-aware Arl is in this. Of course I don't believe you're innocent. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm wounded by your cruel, cruel finger pointing. <laughs> <laughs> I am the victim here. You did 
He's actually right. Just go away, Arl. Mean. I promise, I promise, it wasn't me this time. Poor little dark prince. You're all a bunch of meanie pants. <laughs> He's That's so away. sad. Goo, goo, goo. You guys stay here. Me and Carby will track him down. Carby sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like a mascot for a weight loss program because it's carb. He was acting so strange. <laughs> I love how she just slides across the screen. <laughs> Status report. Ringo. What in the universe did we just observe? <laughs> eh, don't worry about it. Oh, T is great. Arl's on the job, so it should turn out alright. Ish. <laughs> that sounds reassuring. That sounds reassuring. <laughs> Come on! We got some investigating to do. <laughs> I always forget how good these scenes I are. Think we should start at the magic school. That's where I left the others. Maybe they found something out since I left. <laughs> oh, cool. We finally got, like, an evil girl villain. Josh, it's Rulu. Arl, you said she's being kooky, right? <laughs> yep, sorry. And the dark prince is behind it. Hey! Nope, sorry. Sorry. Huh? Shadow's right. The dark prince is not our foe this time. Thanks, Shazo. Also, why are you suddenly raising your sword against her? Feel her magic aura. Embrace your training. Training? What training? She never went through any training in this game. That power is not of this world. So, what are you saying? Someone or something else is making her act this way. Ooh. You only just realized that now, after he was crying because of you. <laughs> he probably deserved it anyhow. Let us focus on. Probably deserved it. But, 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 but. <sighs> you stay put while I make advances on her. Uh, are you hatching some brilliant game plan? <laughs> just watch and learn. Throw them. <laughs> Evil lab continued. <laughs> Why can't Evil Rulu be her alternate voice? I will turn this dimension into smithereens. Woo! You go, girl. Show that villainy knows no gender. Tisk, tisk. It's a good thing he hasn't seen you like this. You know interdimensional chaos is not what he looks for in a girl. <laughs> tisk, tisk. Your crush, the Dark Prince, would be so disappointed. <laughs> I actually think Rulu and the Dark Prince would make a very cute couple because they're both like standing in Arl's way. This isn't intended to be a brilliant game plan or something, is it? <laughs> the dialogue is so well written in this game, I love it. Because it is far from brilliant. Rulu loves the Dark Prince! <laughs> Rulu loves the Dark Prince! <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's it's working! I love how this is what defeats her eventually. Everyone! Rulu loves the dark prince! Rulu loves the dark prince! And it's not funny anymore because Arl did it. Goo 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 Are you gothic, Rulu? Are you gonna become one of us now? I'm in love with the dark prince! No. Oh, we, we cured her without needing to fight. That's a new precedent. I guess love really does conquer all. Oh, come on, Arl. Arl! Yeah, that's how I feel. How dare you tease me and trivialize matters of the heart? Uh-huh. 
No, he didn't. Actually, you blamed the Dark Prince for all this, so you kind of started it, Arl. No one mocks Lady Rulu and escapes in one piece. Lady Rulu, that's cool. She she's an awesome character. A yeah. Why me? Because you're a loser, Arl. After all that, we have to battle her anyhow. Mm hmm. Oh, Rulu's not one of us anymore. How'd I get here? What happened? I'd I'd still be friends with her if she was real, but still not one of us anymore. Wow. I never realized you were so gaga for the dark prince. <laughs> You're crazy for him, huh? And why not? He's strong, strapping, and mad capping. That's actually what he referred to himself as in the other Dark Prince cutscene I just watched. I like that. Callback. Also, I love that she does like a fan dance, almost like Carmen, when she thinks about the Dark Prince. That's cool. Yeah, I, I could almost imagine her with that music. Are you telling me you don't agree? His radiant nobility, his overwhelming fragrance. Wait, what does he smell like though? I mean, I, I'm kind of curious. His overwhelming fragrance. Oh, it's so cute when Rulu talks about the Dark Prince. Oh boy, this could be a while. Jezo, I'm leaving her with you. Um. What? And you think I don't have anything better to do? <laughs> what? You don't have anything better to do? Great! You know, Arl, you could have just, like, been polite and said, like, Hey, you know, I'd love to talk with you about the Dark Prince later, but, you know, I have to go do something. Okay. Oh my god. Arl's mean. Wait, don't I get a say in this? <laughs> hey, are you even listening? Fine, I'll start over. 